Um, obviously, you know, happy with the win. It was not Aggie softball tonight. Um, I think we need to really refocus and kind of get back on track um, and play our game. I, I thought our pitching did a heck of a job. That was set in stone. It was a hard switch. I told the, the pitchers beforehand, we called it the Shaylee sandwich. Um, so Shay was going to throw the first inning. We were going to switch, uh, let Brooke throw two to three innings, kind of depending on how things go. And then I wanted Shaylee to have to come back in. So practicing for some things that we might, that might come up later on in the year. Um, and so I thought they did a really good job in the circle of uh, not letting, um, kind of what was going on, uh, defensively and, and in the batter's box affect them. So, um, yeah. You had a short stay out to the mine after those three errors. Uh, can you tell us what you said or did you didn't even say anything or just look at it maybe? Yeah, uh, I just told him that it's time to focus up. Like, let's let's get after it. Um, let's play Aggie softball. What about A, Wooly wasn't out there though, and she's kind of been your glue, I would yeah. guess, this year. And then, did that have anything to do with it? And what's her, what's her status? Yeah, we're gonna find out. Um, she hit the bag a little weird and so, um, she kind of tweaked it, but it also cramped up on her. So she's going to, um, well, obviously evaluate. Coco is tough. I think we know that she played last year with a broken finger. Um, so we'll, we'll see what, what it looks like. I mean, we're capable of, you know, playing. We have lots of, you know, um, depth, but Coco is a key component for us. So, um, you know, it's going to be what it is. A hamstring or what was her? Back? Yeah, hammy. Okay, yeah, sure. her hammy. But without her, then she's in. You probably maybe don't have those errors. Or? Yeah, I don't know. I, Amari is a really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. Talk to let's me. let's blame it on that. But I don't I don't really think it is. Well, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I like where you're saying. going, Cease. Yeah. <laughs> Talk me through that move of Amari to Price and Cannon over all that first base, second base movement at the beginning. Or Close you mean the at the end? Yeah. yeah. Um, I just went back to Amari's obviously played second base quite a bit. Um, and Trent is very capable of playing first base. So I just went back to kind of my comfort. Um, and, um, you know, we needed to make sure that we could play defense. Um, you know, that was just very uncharacteristic of Amari. That'll probably be her only errors of this year. Let's, you know, um, knock on wood. But, um, yeah, I just. I don't really have a good reason why that happened, but um, yeah, we we're just going with some steady. That was our defense all last year, so we kind of went back to that. How do you feel about seeing a lot of pop-ups happening um, throughout the game? Us offensively, mm -hmm. yes. Um, not what we're um, trying to do. Um, so we will practice again and kind of get back to that. When we were facing Oregon and uh, LMU, both of them have good rise ball pitchers, and um, that was one of the things that made us really successful that weekend. And then we have decided to kind of go away from that. So we're going to refocus and, and head back in that direction. Was there anything that you saw with the girls um, kind of reaching for balls or feeling like they should wait on it a little bit more? Um, no, I mean, I feel like that's part of hitting. Hitting is about pitch selection and timing, right? And so I thought he did a good job. The first pitcher, you know, was mid, mid 60s. And then, um, you know, he kept switching s speeds on us. And that's what any good, um, I think, team is going to do. And, you know, threw some off speeds at us. And um, we just, we have to do a better job of really like, Hey, this is where we're at. She's throwing this velo. We can see it. There's a radar on in the stadium, um, and making sure that uh, we're focused up for that that velo, whatever it be, whether it be 67. Uh, that freshman was humming it, you know, 67, 68, um, and then um, you know they had a couple kids that kind of were throwing in the low 60s. So it's all part of hitting. It's about who makes the adjustment. When put this game aside um, over all the games that you've had um, especially with the invitational what do you want to see uh, or do you like your, your guys's play going back on the road oh uh, um and maybe what do you want to see clean gut yeah I just I want us to get our heads back to where it needs to be to be honest with you I think that um when you've played so many games and we're about to play a lot of games over and over and over again and I think that we have taken for granted how hard it is to win softball games. There's so much parity in this sport. And 
every single game is hard and you have to give everything you have. You have to empty the tank. I don't care if you're going to be a pinch runner. I don't care if you're a starting shortstop. I don't care if you're, you know, catching, pitching. It doesn't really matter. Like you have to do whatever it takes to help our team win. And I feel like we got a little comfortable um, and comfortable will bite you in the butt. And we just have to get back to kind of our intense um, focus and I don't know, just our grit, like how we play the game. How about Ayana coming in? Basically had a home run, but um, got, got it robbed. Yeah. Just um, her play, being able to come in um, at just any time. Yeah, she's been tremendous for us this year, and that's a, that's a really hard, hard spot to put her in. Um, you come in cold, right? You're watching the pitchers, and she's seen, I think, two or three pitchers at that point in time. Um, I thought she did a heck of a job, and um, it's a role that I think she's done a really good job for us, and she'll continue to kind of fill that. Could some of the players mentally maybe be thinking about the trip, or you know, you talk about maybe not playing as, as well as you were? Or? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think it's that. I think it's really um, being where our feet are, like everything you have this game. And did, tweaking the batting order a little bit, yep. moving people around, was that – maybe because of that or just want to see people at different spots? Yeah, we're trying to find a rhythm a little bit. I think um, we are trying to break up some things up at the top and still have the Coco and KP um, kind of duo. Um, and I thought, I think KP, for me, the nine hole is very, very important. Um, and it turns your lineup over. Um, Jazz previously has hit anywhere from the one hole to the six hole for me. So I know I can move her and Keely last year. Remember we moved her at the top of the lineup and she did a really good job. So it was really just trying to figure out, okay, what does this look like? You know, and then Coco was out and that threw a little, you know, wrench in it. But um, I don't know. Can you expand on Ryland's um, batting in the last, I want to say three home runs in three games? Like, expand yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's sticking to the plan. Yes, getting a good pitch, things that line up with her swing path. Um, I think, you know, she's a senior, so she, she doesn't kind of let the moment um, get to her. She knows what it takes. Um, and so I think she's just doing what Ryland is really good at doing. And um, it's kind of not rocket science. I wish some of her friends would pay attention. Yes. Uh, Rylan, uh, they mentioned you've been hitting the ball a little, little bit better the last few games. Anything different about your, your game right now? Why Why is that? Um, I've been talking with Harder a little bit, watching some film with him, and that's something that me and Allie always do together. And after um, last Thursday, I think I went up alone because I was pretty frustrated with myself, and he just reminded me, hey, we need you in the lineup. We need you to keep doing what you're doing. You're helping the team. and. I guess that just kind of calmed me down a little bit, so I have a little more of a clear mind and let, I'm not pressing as much. Talk to me about your position today, Shaylee, going start and coming back at the end. We were just kind of testing rotation, kind of playing with things just for kind of future to see how everything's working with my body and whatnot. What about uh, when Coach went out? That was a pretty short, you know, after the three errors. Uh, what did she say to get you guys' attention? Because it looks like maybe a little switch went off or whatever. Uh, you know how close for it is. She just was trying to fire us up, and um, the defense needed to start helping out Shaylee. She was pitching outs, and we had to start doing our job. And I think after Coach Ford went out there, we got the message, and we did what we needed to do to help her out. What about fall today? She mentioned like maybe you're just not playing quite the way you were in California. Talk about the team. Just talk about you two ladies. Do you sense anything different? I mean, I know you can't be have your A game the whole time. You come home and maybe already thought you would play better. What about where you're at right now as, as a team? I think overall we just need to focus on the little details. Like we know we're capable of doing what we can do, but just being able to take a step back and focusing on the little things. Do you have anything to prepare for California coming up this weekend? I'm just excited to be yeah. around. And <laughs> I, don't, I don't love traveling, but um, being able to play a bunch of different teams that we don't normally see um, it's really exciting to me. It's just a new part of the game that I love to experience and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Is there anything specific that you kind of want to continue to work on, get better at, or maybe just keep being good at? Personally or like with the team? Personally, you know. Um, I want to keep working on um, hitting pitches that I'm not so good at hitting, so maybe up balls or 
um, low and away, like just keep drilling those balls. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of spreading the zone with what I'm able to hit lately. So that's making it hard for pitchers. And I think the team's doing a really good job of that as well. We just need to co keep continuing producing throughout the entire lineup. And I think we'll be good. For me personally, I think I just need to slow the game down every game and then continue locating pitches on each side. When coach says we got to get back to playing Aggie softball, what, what does that mean to you guys? It's playing how we play no matter who's on the other side. So we could be playing Oklahoma, we could be playing Sam Houston, we got to have the same energy, we got to perform the same exact way in both games and I think that's what she's seeing is um, she feels a little bit of a shift between um, how we play and who we're playing so I think she is looking for that from us and I know we can do it we've been doing it it's just something we need to shift right back into just having a game like tonight um, you know just kind of getting the airs out of the way but is that do you feel good going on the road now kind of having a game like this being able to just you know, get the win kind of gritty wise or is there uh, any concern? I think it's kind of eye-opening for us to come together as a team and be able to, like, hey, let's let's figure it out. Let's work on the little things. Yeah. Riley, when you hit that ball, did you think it was out or were you hoping the wind would take it? Or mm. what, what about that? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever hit a home run that high before, so I, I was kind of watching it, but I did I did have a feeling that it was going to keep going. <laughs> uh, which one do you think got better by the Help by the wind because uh, we can't tell up there. Yours or uh, Trinity's ball? Because oh, mine for sure. I think Trin's was gone off the bat. Yeah, okay, okay. That's why you got your ladies are daughters. So this one. <laughs> Hers was gone off the bat. She, she and I have a little competition going. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you do. Okay. And then did the loss of Coco just kind of in the game just kind of throw you off your rhythm a bit, like as the team as a whole? Um. I wouldn't say it threw us off our rhythm. I mean, she's an everyday starter, so we love to have her in the lineup. She's needed in the lineup, but we have the ability to spread the field, even if she is hurt. Um, we know she's going to be back and fine as soon as we hit California, but I think we handled it pretty well. Um, we have the depth to take care of that, but she's good. She's needed in the lineup, and we, are, we trust her even if she's out. <laughs> Can you speak on her toughness, just trying to stay in, like going to second, not coming out till then? Oh, I mean, she played last year with a broken finger, so yeah, we have very no gritty, question about <laughs> Very gritty player. No question about that. <laughs> as soon as she was on the ground, I looked at Paige, and I was like, oh, she's fine. And then, and then uh, she stole second and came out, and I was like, no, she's still fine. Trust me, she'll be good. <laughs>